Uh, you know, Dave, I really admire those suits you wear on the show. Oh, thank you very much. You know, uh, our show does have one of the highest clothing budgets in all of network television. I I'll tell you something, if you really like this one, I'm only going to abuse it for an hour, and then you can have it. It's yours. What a guy. Oh. Gee, thanks. By the way, here, enjoy a cigar. Oh, thanks, Lionel. Sure. Ah! All right. All right, I'll talk. I can't stand it anymore. Larry, what the hell is wrong with you? This is torture. I've been holding this cold can of soda for ten minutes now, and the pain is killing me. Well, uh, say, uh, why don't you just put it down there, Puffy? <sighs> I'm sorry I had to see this. Uh, he's been a little squirrely ever since that uh, Von Bulow deal. I'm sorry. Well, I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah. I think I'll go with you. Hello? Hello, Carrie. Yes. Is that you? Yes. Okay, stay there. Don Johnson is coming out in a second. Do you know who he is? Yeah, I sure do. Uh, okay, think of a really good question. Okay. All right, we'll let you finish your eggs now. Uh, I already finished. Uh, oh, good. Thank you, hey, Is Mom worried about you? No, she's not. Yeah, she ought to be. Hang on, Carrie. Uh, out all night dancing at 5 in the evening. She's eating eggs. My first guest can be seen every week on this network, ladies and gentlemen. We're certainly proud to have him as a member of the NBC family. Uh, he plays uh, Detective Sonny Crockett on Miami Vice. Please welcome Don Johnson. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Uh, obviously. This, uh, this Miami Vice deal turned out pretty well, didn't it? Uh, yeah, it's uh, working out all right. Yeah, it's been on the air just finishing your first year. Yeah. This is the, uh, the hottest uh, show, I guess, on television. Here you are on the cover of Us Magazine. Uh, yeah. Uh, Johnson, here you are on the cover of Rolling Stone with your buddy uh, Philip Michael Thomas. Yeah. Philip Michael, Paul Michael, who is Philip it? Philip Michael this Thomas. This is the guy who's in... He's not the guy who was in Starsky and Hutch, is he? Uh, no, Different no, guy. no, but we work with that guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you do work with that yeah, guy? Yeah, he's directing our, our season premiere, two hour, Paul Michael Glazer. Uh, so how does all this make you feel? Because you, uh, I don't think you were exactly a household word before the show went on the air, and suddenly not exactly, people no. are hooting and hollering, and they show up dressed like you, and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, in the immortal words of one of uh, Madonna's fans, when uh, asked why she was dressed like Madonna. She said, well, we want to express our individuality. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I, think that that... I, I think we may have one of those on the phone here, Don. You get to talk to her a little bit later. Yeah, nice of you. Uh, now, 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 tell me, you mentioned Madonna. Now, is it some, is it, did I read this or did I dream it or did somebody lie to me that you were, you were, uh, had, are dating Madonna, are seeing her? It's all of those. You did dream it, it is a lie. <laughs> and, and no, I am not dating Madonna. I, I saw her last night, I met her last night. Was it night. somewhere in print though? Did it appear in one of yes. those deals? Yes, well, actually, what it said was, I sent her some flowers. I was outside of um, New Orleans uh, shooting a, a, a four hour miniseries called uh, The Long Hot Summer. And, um, uh, while I was there, she was doing a concert there, and I sent her some flowers saying, with major lust, Don mm -hmm. Johnson. So you, so you are making a, putting I, a move on well, her. Well, yeah, you know, I... <laughs> Patty's right out there, pal. You want to cool uh, in now, a... Now, no. Pat, who, who's Patty? Patty Darvinville. She's the mother of my son, Jesse. Oh, well, that's very nice. No. You know, I think I, I met Patty once before a long yeah, time ago. Did, on yeah, she did, yeah. On The Tonight Show. Yeah, she did yeah, a show with yeah. you. You know, I didn't even recognize her when I saw her out there. Yeah, who do you think she was? I, I, she looked a little like Terry Garr. Yeah, she'll love you for that. Yeah, if she will or she won't. She won't. <laughs> she won't. I was being, uh, you know, caustic and sarcastic and oh, that, that altogether unpleasant. That doesn't go on this show. Um, <laughs> no, no. What you mean? She won't like to hear that she looks a little like Terry Gar? Well, I. I mean, there are worse things I think she to say about to a person. Express her individuality. Oh, you know? okay. <laughs> she. There you go. <laughs> oh. Well, there you go, Dave. Oh, See she, now what you've done. Is she coming out here? I don't know. Oh, don't but, let her uh, come out here. Is she steamed? Sounded like it. Well, she's got to be more upset about you sending flowers to Madonna than me talking about Terry Garr. No, no, she's very understanding. All about right, that. let's she's get back to the matter at hand. So, you? so <laughs> anyway, you send her the flowers. Yeah. And that was it. That was it, yeah. And I went backstage last night and, and um, met her, and she's delightful and charming and, um, and all that. Yeah. And we have no plans for the future. Okay, now here, this is Patty D'Arbonville. Hi, Patty, how are you? Now, does she or does she not look a little bit like... Yeah. 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 <laughs>
<laughs> oh, yes, well. Uh, well, she looks terrific, and uh, I, I hope she's really not upset. No, she's not. Yeah. She's tell me, tell me about the... She would have to have a good sense of humor to hang out with me. Well, I would get that she's feeling, yeah. <laughs> uh, now, tell me about the, the police in Miami. How did they feel about uh, when they read that Hollywood guys were coming down there to do a TV show about them? Well, you would be amazed at how chilly it gets in Miami uh, when you take a show in there entitled Miami Vice after all the problems they've had down yeah. there. But um, that was in the beginning, and now they, um, they can't do enough for us. They're great. They're very happy. Well, they, yeah. I guess in the beginning they were worried that the city was going to not look great and that it was going to be uh, cited as nothing more than a drop-off point for drugs and so on and so forth. So, yeah, with, uh, with good cause. Yeah. yeah. Is it, is it, the, is it the, the single, single biggest entry point for uh, contraband in this country, narcotics and so forth? I think it was and maybe still is. I'm, I'm not really up to uh, date on my facts and figures about this particular the vice squad, Don. You should know this. Yeah, it's TV. It's acting. It's uh, uh, now. Do you know this? Mess. Do, you, do you know if the uh, if the amount of drug traffic has decreased or increased since your show's been on the air? I think it's decreased uh, due to our efforts, our very strong efforts against it. <laughs> Okay. Someone asked me once uh, if, um, did I think the show was going to uh, um, last very long, and I said, as long as there are drugs and rock and roll, we'll stay on the air. You betcha. Don't you think? Now, we got, uh, this is your picture in the, the tour elevator. This is you and your buddy there, right there. Wow. That's, that's the first thing that the tour people see when they get on the elevator. This you, is big time. You here. must have this network by the lapels. Um, <laughs> We're, louder, Dave. Say that a little louder. We're going to do a commercial, and then we'll, we'll come back here and talk more with uh, Don. <laughs> Don Johnson is here. You, uh, you live in Miami all um, year now? Yeah, about nine months out of the year. You enjoying that? Yeah, I love it down there. It's beautiful. Where are you originally from? Flat Creek, Missouri. Hmm. <laughs> Flat Creek? Oh, come on now. <laughs> I know everyone there, so... <laughs> Uh, we have Carrie here from Atlanta. Do you want to talk to her or not? She's, uh, she says she was 19, something like that. 20, 21. And, okay. uh... Just as long as she's not a, a model and working for the star. All right, let's see. <laughs> Wait a minute, Carrie. We'll get back to you. Not a model and working for the oh, store. Oh, wait a minute. Where are we going? Well, Listen, I, here's a copy of the... the I the... refuse to dignify this kind of publication with any kind of comment, and I've instructed the 17-year-old model to do the same thing. Well, now, do you mind if I even read the little caption here since you brought it up? We weren't going to say anything yeah. about it, but you Well, you, since you, you know that Patty's here, of course you can, you can Dude, read has it. Has Patty seen this? Yes, of course she's seen okay. it. Okay. Might have to do a little good cop, bad cop with you, Don. <laughs> uh, Miami Vice's Don Johnson's... Oh, this is too sad. I'm not even going to read it. Just tell me, tell me it's not true. It's not true, okay, Dave. it's not true. Here's Carrie. Uh, Carrie, Carrie, uh, this is Dave again. What are you doing? Sitting here. Uh, oh, she's got a huge future ahead of her, this girl. Yeah. Uh, Don Johnson is right here. You want to talk to him? Sure. Okay, here he is. And be polite. Okay, and speak right up, Carrie. Okay. Okay. What's your name, Carrie? Carrie. Oh, great. We're all worried sick about her. <laughs> Carrie, dear, what's the problem? I was just going to ask you how you like your eggs cooked. <laughs> That's the strangest proposition yeah. I've ever got. Yeah. Am I coming over? Sure. <laughs> uh, I don't, uh, I don't uh, like eggs. I don't either. I don't know why I just ate them. You, you don't say? know why you just ate them? You don't oh, like eggs? Cholesterol is bad for you. Yeah, it's bad for you. Yeah, it's yeah. not not good for you at all. Uh, I get a lot of letters from the egg uh, oh, Well. I tell it, I tell so what else, Carrie? What's happening? How's Miami? Hot, humid. Okay, that's it. Cool. Now that we're into the oh, weather, we don't carry Yeah. Something. I think this is it, Carrie. Carrie. All right. All right. Bye. Bye, babe. Thank you. Carrie, Carrie, I wanted you to have a really good question for this man. He's one of the most powerful men on network television. And, and all you could ask him was, how do you like your eggs? <laughs> Hello? Hello. All right, Carrie, listen, I'm going to put you on hold. Come up with a question for Morris Berkowitz. We'll be back. <laughs> um, 
And you have you have an alligator you work with. Is the alligator still on the show? Yeah. Now, how do you yeah, like working with an alligator? Well, um, it's better than kids, uh, you know. I mean, no, no. <laughs> oh, easy does it. We're all grown-ups here. You know? No, no. I, the expression "trained alligator" is. Um, is like a contradiction in terms it's like military intelligence and uh, <laughs> uh, an unfixed prize fight and uh, that sort of thing. Yeah, he's, uh, he, he's got a bigger entourage than anybody on the show. Uh -huh. He walks in with six of the biggest guys you've ever seen in your life. Is, uh, is it possible that he could do something to hurt somebody just being an alligator? Yeah, they have not evolved one second in a hundred million years. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so you got the it. picture. Yeah, they I do could, have the they picture. They put some bad hurt on you, pal. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah. Do they... Now, what about... The, they, used to, they used to roll them over on their back and rub their stomachs and hypnotize them and <laughs> put them to sleep? There isn't a man alive that does that no <laughs> I mean unless of course he's looking to lose an arm or a leg or something they're actually really I, that nasty oh, they're bad they do two things they bite you or they don't oh <laughs> that's it well, now what's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile beats the hell out of me I, but now, the alligators I are think, the nasty ones. yeah I think an alligator is I think it's a, in terms of territory I mean yeah. uh, alligators are indigenous to um, this part of the country I don't know does anybody, I don't know. Does anybody have it I, I bet you Kerry would know um, yeah. <laughs> I'll let you get into that one. Uh, but now, what do they feed Elvis? What does this guy eat? About any damn thing he wants. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's they're, a big they're, star they're now. They're carnivores? You know. Yeah, they're eating machines. Yeah. yeah. Is it fish, beef? Well, they eat fish and ducks and dogs. Oh. And, and dogs? Uh, yeah, there's all kinds of reports about uh, alligator attacks on dogs. You know, the ladies will be walking their dogs by lakes down there, and the uh, alligator will come up and Ooh. have a little morsel. You know? Ooh. <laughs> Good <laughs> Lord. Appetizer, you know. So this is, you got to work with this thing. Yeah. yeah, and of course we have to work with him as if he's a pet. Mm -hmm. So the, the a guests... A beloved family oh, pet. Oh, yes, and yeah. so the guests that we have on the show, when they come to visit Crockett at the boat, they, they, they of course, have to... <laughs> Be friendly to yeah. Elvis, and you should see some of our guest stars. Boy, I'll tell you, we go through wardrobe. Yeah, I would guess so. Uh, it's uh, it's a great show. Uh, geez, Don, congratulations. This Thank is uh, this is really going to be a killer, isn't it? Uh, we hope so. Yeah, we're working hard so. on it. We're proud of it. Yes, sir. You do a nice job. And say hello to your buddy. What's his name? Philip Michael say Thomas. Hello to Philip. Uh, we'll be back. <laughs>